Without Amoroso's Bakery, the Philadelphia cheesesteak wouldn't be what it is today. In the 1930s, when cheesesteaks were beginning to grow in popularity throughout the city, one of the local operators came to Amoroso with a messy dilemma. They were using the hot dog rolls, and the hot dog rolls couldn't contain the onions and the peppers and, and, and the toppings that would go on the, on the steak. The rolls would just kind of melt and fall apart. So they came to Amoroso looking for a roll that could stand up to a cheesesteak and all of its toppings. And uh, we provided them a roll, and the roll held up, meaning that it didn't fall apart, and it was able to hold the onions, the cheese, the peppers, mushrooms, whatever people ultimately, you know, put on the steak sandwich. Leonard Amoroso isn't about to give away the secrets to the 105-year-old company's success, but it starts with the baking process. Actually, when people come here and see the process, they're pretty amazed. It starts with a 500-pound dough of flour, water, and other key ingredients that, once mixed, is sent to a machine called the divider. After they're, they're cut into that smaller size, they get rounded up a little bit, and it really looks like a ball. It's a dough ball. The balls of dough are then formed into the shape of a roll and proofed. The proofing process is like women would do back in the 20s and 30s, where they would make bread at home and they'd let it sit on the counter for hours until it rose enough, and then they'd put it in the oven to bake it. The proof boxes that we use accelerate that process. Once the rolls have proofed on wooden peel boards, unlike hot dog and hamburger buns, which are proofed and baked in metal pans, they're ready for the oven. But they're taken off the boards and they're baked right on the hearth of the oven. So that's what gives them a little crustier bottom and, and, and the little crustier texture of the roll. The rolls are then placed on conveyors to cool prior to being packaged. If we're making frozen product, the product will come out of the oven, go through the cooling conveyors, and then goes into a freezer where it's frozen in, depending on the size of the product, but anywhere from five to seven minutes, it's frozen solid and then packaged. So all of that freshness is locked in. Whether frozen or fresh, Amoroso's rolls are distinct. To us, the perfect cheesesteak hoagie roll is a somewhat light roll, somewhat airy, uh, with a nice thin crust. Uh, you know, we always felt that the roll should complement the sandwich. It shouldn't overpower the sandwich. It's hard to argue with success. From a storefront bakery in West Philadelphia, Amoroso's has slowly evolved from selling in grocery stores in the 1950s to partnering with Steakum Sandwiches in the 1970s. And then one day, a gentleman came into the office unannounced, all hyped up. He's, you know, in a hurry. He said, look, I've been testing cheesesteaks all day. I, I saved this visit till the end because you're near the airport. But I want to open a steak shop in California, and I need your rolls. Can you do it? And I said, sure, we can send them out frozen. Which gave the company its start in the frozen business. Amoroso's, which makes a wide variety of rolls, including whole grain products, has 250 distributors in 42 states, plus Puerto Rico and Guam. They also employ about 300 men and women, many of whom have been with the company for more than 25 years and now help crank out more than 60,000 rolls a day. We've got second and third generation employees now. We're their grandfathers worked here, uh, and, and that's pretty unusual in today's world. But it's business as usual for Amoroso's Baking Company. They put us together with the Soft Pretzel, which is a famous institution in Philadelphia. We never thought of ourselves like that. We just go to work every day. We've worked hard. We've built a business, and, and somehow, not all through accident, obviously, we've, we've worked at it, but we've created a brand and that brand has become an institution in the city, uh, but we're as, as surprised as anybody about that. I mean, we never set out to do that. We just set out to make a good product, serve the city, and, uh, you know, it just kind of came.